back to Linda's Pantry. So today, um, because my husband said that it was the best pasta he'd ever had with the spaghetti sauce I made for you, I'm going to replicate the pasta because we still have leftover sauce. And so I'm going to go ahead and make pasta for you. And it really was tender and delicious. And it was fun to make without all the essential tools that I really needed. So um, I might change up the tools today. It depends on what I see at the store. Uh, but my rolling pin for the pasta that I made was a glass, little glass bottle of oil. but. I needed a hard surface, so I rolled out all my pasta with this. <laughs> I'm going to see about maybe picking up a rolling pin or, um, you know, you're cramped on space in a trailer, so uh, I don't know if I can even find a little um, hand crank pasta machine. Maybe I'll pick that up. I have one at home, but you can always use two. So, that being said, if this inspires you to stay with me and see how I make pasta, fresh pasta, nothing like it, go ahead and uh, go down in that show more box below. On your way down, maybe hit the like button, share it on your Facebook page, go over to my Facebook page link down in the bottom, and check out my Wild Tree website. All right, guys, let's go make some fresh pasta to go with some pasta sauce. All right, All right so I'm glad you stayed because we're gonna make pasta. In this mixing bowl, I have three cups of uh, flour. And I'm using bread flour because that happens to be what I have handy here in the travel trailer. And um, I did pick up a, a couple of tools. I picked up a um, pasta or pizza dough roller. So we're going to use that. If that doesn't work, I've got a good old-fashioned rolling pin. <laughs> And I think I can make room for both of them. So in the bread flour, you're going to need two eggs. Can you do it without the eggs? You can. It won't be as good, though. Trust me. And that leaves me just enough eggs to make brownies and breakfast in the morning. Because uh, Michael doesn't really eat eggs when I'm not here. So... So you've got two eggs, and you want the eggs cold. We want this uh, dough uh, to really have a chilled effect. And I just kind of put that in there. You can um, start it off with a fork if you like. You know, make a, a well and put your egg in the middle there. Um, it doesn't really matter. It's all going to end up a big doughy mess. <laughs> and then I've got ice water. That's what we're going to use as well. Anytime you're making pastry, I do put a little bit of salt in here, about a teaspoon, and that, that was sea salt. I didn't, I forgot to bring my Himalayan pink salt up here. So I just start adding by the tablespoon or two, that's about two tablespoons, adding the water, the cold water. We're going to just get this incorporated. Now, can you flavor your dough? Absolutely. We want to just get this mixed until it forms a dough ball. And I want it kind of a sticky dough ball to begin with. And this, actually, this water has ice in it. There we go. I can tell you I'm going to need a little bit more. Which is okay. Probably another two tablespoons as well. Okay, so now I'm kind of forming a dough ball. I'm going to get the, I'm going to flour my surface. I've clean, cleaned the surface down. It works fine. And then I'll flour it and turn this out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my dough all out here. And you do want to go ahead and it's a little bit sticky and tacky. Just get some flour on your hands. Dust the top. And you're going to knead it a little bit. Just take your palms and push. You want to knead this for about five minutes. As soon minutes, as I am really. done kneading this, I'm going to just cover it with a tea towel and let it rest here um, for about 15 I minutes. I wanted to bring you back just to show you how this dough comes out. After you've got to knead it all nice, it really, you can tell, it just becomes this really nice, soft, elastic kind of a dough ball. So I just wanted to bring you back for that. We're going to put a clean towel on it and 
we'll be back. All right, so now our dough is rested for about 20 minutes actually, and I just covered it with some plastic. Um, I needed the towel, and it's st uh, still a little tacky, but what I'm gonna do is pull it up off your board, put some flour down, and flour the top of that dough ball, just lightly. And then I don't have a pastry cutter here, but I'm gonna cut this into manageable pieces so I have an easier time rolling it out. Because believe it or not, this will roll out to be quite a bit. So I just set my chunks aside here. This will make a lot of pasta for pennies, uh, literally pennies, two eggs, teaspoon of salt, some flour, and water. Okay, so now I've got my dough there. Let's try this roller. I, I haven't ever used one of these, so um, it could be a disaster. It looks like it's going to be. It looks like it's going to be a little hard to use. So, I'm going to use a traditional rolling pin. And I want to get this as thin as I can. And what you have to do, I have found, because you can see this is starting to shrink back to itself, what I'll do is roll, let it rest, and roll. And I want it pretty thin. We're gonna make this like fettuccine. So I'm gonna let this rest a minute and let those glutens relax, and then it'll roll out better. Hopefully you can see all that. All right, so I've got my dough rolled out pretty thin. I mean, I can see through it, see with my hand. So that's thin enough for me. And we're not making a puffy pasta, so that's why I say it's thin enough. And I don't have a pizza cutter, so I'm just gonna come down with my knife and cut my strips of dough. And we don't even mind if they're um, thick, thin, odd shaped, it really doesn't matter. But you do want to make sure that um, you've got enough texture to it that you know you're having, having a piece of pasta. So you can see how nice and thin that is. So we're going to continue on. Alright, so now I've got my first batch of pasta cut up and it's beautiful. So what I did was I washed a uh, hanger and I'm just going to drape this pasta right over the hanger. So that makes sense to you guys. You can also use a, a um, like I could use the oven rack if I wanted to and th then you can hang on multiple levels um, or like uh, what I did last night was I just went ahead and let it dry on a plate which some of these are trying to dry already because it's so thin but oh it's gonna be so delicious so I'm just hanging the pasta to let it dry for a couple of hours um, I've also in the past had uh, where I just went ahead and tossed it with some flour and put it in a bag and you're fine to do that you can throw it on your dehydrator as well if that's what you want to do um, but any way you do it it's delicious and it's fresh and so we're gonna have fresh pasta with our meal tonight and nothing better than good old-fashioned egg noodles and I'm actually I'm decided that I'm going to make some um, egg noodle for my husband's stew tomorrow because before I leave tomorrow I'm gonna make up a big crock pot of stew for him and so beef stew and then he can throw those egg noodles in the last 15 minutes um, and or cook them separately and serve a stew over top so anyways I'm gonna keep keep working but look at this nice huh all right guys <laughs> this is fun it's I think it's like therapy <laughs> Okay, so I've got my water boiling. I did salt this water. Even though there's a little bit of salt in the dough, you want to make sure that you salt it. So this is the dough that I dried. And I'm just going to do it one serving for me because it's not quite dinner time, but I can do this um, as an afternoon snack. And some pieces there. It only takes about 
three to four minutes for this pasta really to cook through and it's done. Because if you think about it, the egg cooks very quickly and so does the flour. So I'm gonna get my sauce and uh, heat that up and we'll, we'll be back with some pasta. Yum. All right, here's my little bit of pasta I've got here. Just tender and delicious with a little bit of salt. And I've got some sauce here I reheated. Don't need much. This is actually a perfect lunch for me. And we got some, we're gonna put some fresh parmigiani down. Parmigiani Reggiano. Ugh. Couldn't ask for a better lunch. Fresh, delicious pasta. We'll see how it tastes. Let me see if I can get some. See how nice and tender that cooked up? Oh. In my husband's words, it was the best plate of spaghetti and pasta that he's ever had. Okay, I'm not doing a very good job. Okay, going in. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Wow, that is fabulous. Really tender and delicious, and the sauce just sticks to the pasta, which is wonderful. And you really don't have any trouble with the pasta sticking together in the water, which is nice. Mm. I don't think you can go wrong with a beautiful homemade pasta and any kind of sauce, honestly. This is, just happens to be uh, my spaghetti sauce that I made, and um, it's delicious. So I hope that if this inspires you to make your own pasta, that you'll come back next time. Maybe subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Go down in the description box, hit that thumbs up on the way down there, and check out all the links I've left for you. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. God bless.